Hi, my name is Rosie and thank you for being in my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about these nails, impress nails that I have been using for a while. This is a review type of video and I will give you tips and my thoughts on my experience using them. And here I have some pink nails and brown toenails. I asked you guys through my Instagram which ones you wanted me to apply and most pick this one. So I'm going to focus my video on this design. So without talking anymore, let's begin. So some of the questions that I will cover here are if impress nails are waterproof, if they're good for your nails, are they bad for your nails? Impress nails is a cruelty free, as you guys know, I have a cruelty free lifestyle. And I even sent an email to Impress Brand and this was their response. Hi Rosie, thanks for reaching out to Kiss Products. Our Impress nails are cruelty free. They are not tested on animals and all of our ingredients are man-made and not derived from animals. Thank you. So as you can see here, it brings all the nail sizes that you will need. These are the instructions, the prep pad, and this little stick. And it also brings this nail file. And this is really important as you can see, all the nails bring this plastic. So you want to make sure the plastic is not pointing up, but actually towards the bottom as you apply each nail this way. So at this time, what I'm going to do is plan which nail size I'm going to apply on each finger. So as you can see here, I have gone ahead and planned which nail size I'm going to apply on each finger. So these are the ones I'm going to apply on my left hand and these on my right hand. And I left the shimmery one for my ring finger. And as you can see here, this also brings handy prep so you can put each nail on top. So as you can see, my nails are a little long. You want to make sure they are really short before you apply the impress nails. Okay, at this point, I have them really short and I'm going to cut a little bit of my cuticle. So this is the handy prep pad that it brings and with this, just clean your nails. So this is the fun part, this is when you start applying each nail. Um, one tip that I give you is that the nail for the thumbs should be the last one that you apply. This is just to make it easier to have your other fingers available as you apply the other nails. So this is the plastic wrap that you remove. The way that I apply it, I push the cuticle a little bit and I apply it over the cuticle but not too much. I make sure that it's straight and then just press it down from the middle and then on the sides. Look how pretty they look. <laughs> so here I have all of them and the only ones I'm missing are my thumbnails. By the way, I want to mention that if you see my nail like this is because last time I did not remove impress nails the correct way. The correct way is that when you want to remove them, you use nail polish. 
and my mistake is that I just pull them. You do not want to do that because then you end up with damaged nails like mine. And there you go, beautiful nails. So another tip, and it's optional, you do not have to do this, but sometimes I have applied a base coat. And the reason why I applied a base coat is because when you want to remove them, it's so much easier. Um, you can use any transparent nail polish. The one that I have is by Surya Brazil, and this is a cruelty-free vegan brand. If you're interested, I'm going to add it in the description box. But again, like I said, this is completely optional. You don't have to do this. So sometimes they bring like small, tiny imperfections that you can fix. Um, sometimes they're not even on the edges. And all you have to do with the file that it brings, you file it. So I don't know if you can see this. I hope the camera picks it up. But there's like a part that's, there's a piece here that's lifted. So we're just going to file this. There it is. Now everything feels even. So the right way to remove in-press nails, use an acetone. I have this one by Carmon Naturals. It does not smell like acetone. It has vitamin E oil. I really like this brand. This is the one that I have been using for a few years now. And the way you do it, you grab a cotton ball and you get your nail wet with the acetone. Leave it on for a few minutes. Then with the stick that it brings, you start pushing it out. This is the right way to remove them if you do not want to damage your nails like I did. I was traveling, I didn't have acetone with me and I just pulled them out and that's how I got my nails damaged. But if you do it the right way, it won't happen. Okay, so let's say one of your nails is getting loose. Your kit brings 30 nails, so you have more than enough in case any of them starts getting loose and you want to apply a new one or the other option is with the kiss glue you apply some glue if you think your nail is still in good shape and you don't want to apply a new nail so those are two options they look so cute i love them so much and they have a variety of designs so it all depends what your store has available at the moment okay so now i want to mention some of the pros and cons of in-press nails so I'm going to be reading through my blog post. This is already up on my website. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Okay, some of the pros. Um, Impress Nails has a lot of cute nail art designs. As you can see here, these are the other options that I have. They always have something cute for everyone. They are so easy to apply. You can apply them between five to 10 minutes. It's so quick. They are so affordable. I've never seen a box be more than ten dollars that's a plus for me they look like i spent a lot of money and time at a beauty salon when i just apply this in like less than five minutes and they can last between one to three weeks so whenever i'm cleaning or doing dishes i make sure to protect my hands with rubber gloves and so that makes the manicure last longer if you want them to look like perfectly i would leave them up to a week if you leave them up to three weeks, your cuticle will start showing. So it just depends on your preference. Some of the cons. Okay, so if you're trying to style your hair, it might get stuck. Like the nail, it kind of has a glue so that it might you might have to unstuck your nails from your hair. So that's a con. <laughs> um, they can damage your nails if you do not remove them the right way. If you do, then you shouldn't worry about it. Your real nail could start showing, but that's only if you go up to the third week. Um, then yeah, your real nail will be visible on the bottom. Try to get some things open like bottles or like your jewelry pieces, like your necklaces. When you're trying to open the clasp, it can get a little difficult. Um, but nothing major to me, the pros are more than the cons, so I really recommend them. So where do you find them? Well. A lot of stores have them. You can find them on Amazon, Target, Walgreens, Walmart. I'm going to leave all the links in the description box. All the major stores have them. These are the other designs that I have at the moment. This one, like if it's marble. This one has pink tones and a metallic color on the ring nail. And this one, kind of like marble on the black 
color with gold tone. Well, this concludes my review and tips for in-press nails. Um, as you can see, I love them so much. I have been using them for a while. To be honest, I haven't gone to a beauty salon in so long because I get the same results from home. I apply them in less than five minutes and they last for weeks. For me, they are so worth it. And let me know what other type of videos you would like to see on the channel. As always, you can follow me on all social media accounts with the same name, Lynn Sire. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you until next time. Kisses! Bye!